Hey there, I'm Katie McKee, one of the energy service coordinators at Middle Tennessee Electric. My primary job at MTE is to help our members save money. As a not-for-profit local electric cooperative, we want you to use as little energy as you need to live comfortably. That's right, we want you to use less energy and spend less money each month. That's why I'm here to talk to you about the biggest energy consumer in your home, your heating and air conditioner. Your heating and air conditioner, also called an HVAC system, uses 40 to 60% of your monthly electricity. This means your electric bill can go up depending on how hot or cold the outside temperature was. The Middle Tennessee average annual climate ranges between 30 to 90 degrees, which is why the majority of homes in Middle Tennessee use electric heat pumps as their HVAC system. Using thermodynamic principles, heat pumps use outside air to heat and cool your home. In the simplest terms, when you want heat, your heat pump pulls cold air out of your home and uses the warmer air outside to heat it back up again. When you want cold air, the thermodynamic principles is reversed. The method allows your heat pump to change the temperature in your home a few degrees at a time. It's why they are one of the most cost-effective and efficient ways to heat or cool your home. Heat pump HVAC systems operate most efficiently when the temperatures are above 40 degrees. This is a great system to have for Middle Tennessee summertime temperatures. When the temperatures are outside of this range, you'll see an increase in your energy consumption because your heating and cooling systems run constantly to maintain the temperature you set on your thermostat. But when outside temperatures drop below 40 degrees during the winter, your heat pump cannot warm your home fast enough to make up the difference between the outside temperature and your thermostat setting. So it uses a secondary heat source called auxiliary heat. You can think of auxiliary heat like a giant space heater. It consumes three times more electricity when it uses this feature compared to normal. However, it also generates direct heat that you can feel. This is the same feature that kicks on when you raise your thermostat more than two degrees at a time. The more electricity the auxiliary heat uses, the more money you'll pay on your bill. With this basic understanding on heat pumps, let's look at how the weather impacts energy usage. We'll use the usage graphs in my MTE app or logging into your account mte.com. You can view your energy usage in daily, weekly, and monthly intervals to learn how you use electricity. This graph shows readings for an all-electric home, along with the weather data from a winter day. If you use other heat sources like natural gas, you'll see a similar increased energy usage pattern when the temperature drops. Natural gas and other heat source HVAC systems still use electric motors and fans to push air into your home. The thermostat in this home was set to 68 degrees. On this day, the low temperature was 30 degrees and used 88 kilowatt hours. The following day, the temperature outside dropped to 28 degrees and used 109 kilowatt hours. Because the weather dropped below 40, we know that the auxiliary heat worked to keep the home at 68 degrees. You can tell by the spikes on the graph when your auxiliary heat is turned on and off. As the temperature drops, these spikes increase in frequency or duration. The longer the temperature outside stays below 40 degrees, the longer your auxiliary heat has to run and the higher your energy consumption is at the end of the month. Unfortunately, this means your bill will increase. This pattern repeats all the time. However, you'll really see the pattern emerge on the really cold and hot days that we get around here. How often your heating and cooling system runs depends on the temperature outside in relation to your thermostat settings. As I mentioned earlier, the more your HVAC system runs, the more energy you consume and the more money you'll pay on your monthly bill. If you get a high bill, we recommend you check your energy consumption to find ways to change your habits to reduce how much electricity you use. Did you know that you can save almost 3% on heating and cooling costs for every degree you raise or lower your thermostat? During the summer, set your thermostat up to 75 to 78 degrees.
When the winter rolls around, drop it down to 65 degrees. You don't have to do it all at once, but make it a gradual change. This will let you get used to the temperature in your home. You can learn more ways to save energy on our social media pages or by going to mte.com tips. If you have any questions about your bill, your account, or are looking for more information to save electricity, I hope you give us a call at 877-777-9020. Thanks for watching.